Craig Chanelka, Sprayer Specialist with Case IH, here to go through our Auto Boom functionality and settings within the Pro 1200. So we have sensitivity, target height. Okay? So for target height of what we want to spray, we simply hit the target height. We get our menu. I set up my distance that I want to be above the crop canopy. Hit OK. okay so once I have my target height established, that's going to be the distance my spray tips are from the ground or from the canopy. We then have sensitivity as well. So that's the reactionary time of how the auto boom reacts going up and down throughout the field. So again, usually preset at 50, but you can play with that to be the higher the number, the more sensitive it's going to be to react. The lower the number is going to be less sensitive to react on there. Within AutoBoom, we also have four modes of operation. So we have mode one, which is our variable height. Mode two, which is a fixed or lock canopy or lock ground position. Mode three is a variable canopy position and mold four is a fixed or locked canopy position on there so mode one and two would be utilized when you're doing burn off or when you're doing in crop where the crop is short modes three and four would be utilized when you're doing desiccation when the crop height is taller so that you have more range of travel within the auto boom functionality. Okay. So simply selecting the mode that I want to run in, that's the mode that I have set up in here. Okay. When we have auto boom functioning, we'll have a green light indicating on here, and then all of my sensors will be reading in a automatic mode. So now as I'm going through the through the field any type of roll, any type of waterway that I go through, my boom is going to automatically react and keep me at my set target height. So that is our sensitivity target height settings um, for auto boom.